I recently survived 300 days in Roblox's SCP-3008. I did three videos on it, and I asked you guys if you wanted me to put all three videos together into one video, and a majority of you said yes. So, here you go. Here's how I survived 300 days in Roblox's SCP-3008. Let's go. Starting off on day one, I opened up the time menu so I could set the seconds up to 240, which would be 4 minutes. I wanted the days themselves to be 4 minutes and the nights 1 minute. I wanted to do that so that way I would only have to record for 8 hours. If I didn't do this, then I would have to record for 16. And after a bit of exploring, I was able to find a food court. I labeled it with the waypoints. After that, I found a pallet area, which was perfect. These are amazing for building a base with. You're usually always going to see at least one pallet area in 3008, in a public server at least, with a base already built into it. But I'm on a private server here, because I wanted my day counter to be semi-customizable at least for what I had in mind. I didn't end up doing the whole custom time thing, because I can't customize that for some reason anymore properly. Day 2, I started building my main base. I wanted it to be a sky base, so I decided that for how to get up to the base, I would just use ladders. That was a very bad idea. As you can see, I kept falling off. And you know what? I may even die. Day 3 was more so the same thing for, for the most part. More so just putting up more ladders to try and get the sky base up even higher. And uh, well, as you can see, by the end of the day, there is a Blood Knight. Now, I'm just going to explain Blood Knights for those who don't know. Blood Knights for, usually only have a 120 of chance of happening on most days. Every 10th day, though, there is a guaranteed Blood Knight. I was not expecting one on day 3, so that was kind of shocking to say the least. Day 4 was a bit of a bloodbath, I'm going to be honest. It was literally a bloodbath. Basically, I was I continued trying to move pallets up, but I accidentally dropped a pallet off instead of placing it correctly. So I tried climbing back down the ladder to go get it, and... Yep, that's the first step of the video. And no, I will not be resetting, I do not have time for that. Thankfully, I respawned nearby, but then not long later at all, I fell off again, and died again. So I died twice on day four. By nighttime, I had gotten back, but I got bored, so I went out looking for things, just for the sake of it. And I was able to find a GameCube. That's cool. Day 5, I started out by looking for something so I could complete one of the achievements in the game. The one I was hoping to achieve was either this one, where you had to land on a beanbag or something to save your fall, or on whatever the hell this, however you pronounce this thing, to also save your fall. I spent half of Day 5 looking for it. Both of them, and I eventually found a beanbag. After that, I brought it back, and well, yeah, just kind of sat up there for the rest of the night. Day six was pretty basic. I mainly just tried finding the box for the achievement. I couldn't find it, but it's super close. I'm just dumb. Anyway, I looked around for something. I don't know what I was looking for. Also, apparently, at some point, I put down these weird ladders. I don't know why. Day seven, I tried doing the achievement again, but it failed because I didn't notice at the time. But I'm pretty sure you have to be in a public server for this to work. I was on a private server, and I went looking around for supplies, and I eventually found another GameCube. Wow. Anyway, I continued, I put that down back at the base and continued looking for supplies. While I was looking, I didn't find another GameCube, but I did notice my inventory was full. So I thought, hmm, since Skype is going to be my new base, I may as well put the stuff up there. So I did that, and I promptly fell on the ground. And then, while I was running back, it turned over into nighttime. And while I was going around in the night, I found another GameCube. By day 8, I knew my first guaranteed Blood Knight was going to be coming up on day 10. So, I needed to make sure my base was decent enough for when that happened. As such, I spent it mainly collecting resources and also expanding my, uh, my base. However, I fucking fell off again. So, yeah. Basically, one death every other day. What made it worse was that when I started going back towards my base after I respawned, a blood knight fell. I have there's a 120 ch if chance 
of one happening on a non-scheduled day. Thankfully, I was able to find a place to survive for tonight, but my luck was really bad. After the blood night was over, I went, went back to over to my base. I noticed where I had died and decided that for the time being, it would probably not be a very good idea, it would probably not be ethical at all actually to make a sky base. And so I decided to just expand my first ever shack. However, by the end of the day, it wasn't done, so I just boxed myself in and waited for the night to be over. Okay, by day 10, I knew there was going to be a guaranteed blood moon tonight. I wanted to get as much progress done on this version of my base as I could. I grabbed some extra supplies and, well, the blood moon began. I was able to survive tonight, but... <sighs> Man, there's not really much to do when you're hiding alone inside of a shack made out of pallets. All I did day 11 was just work on the base, that's all. Same with day 12, just worked on the base. Again with day 13, just furnishing the base, that's all. Day 15 was the first foggy day of the challenge. Basically mean that outside would be covered in fucking fog. Literally everywhere. And I get much progress done to base day because of that, because during foggy days, employees are still hostile. Day 16, things were going a bit better. I had an idea of how it could potentially salvage the sky base. Stairs. Yeah, that's... That's it. Stairs. The reason why I didn't think of this before is because, well, you know, I kind of thought of ladders before. It was also at this point a challenge it, I decided that I'll be allowing myself to skip normal nights, as that would speed up the challenge drastically. It can make the challenge last just 13 hours and not the usual 16. Listen, I had to make some shortcuts, okay? Days 17 and 18 were spent doing the same thing, building the staircase. Day 19 was spent doing the same thing, but I was running low on pallets, so I started building a ramp up instead. Thankfully, I was able to make it back up to the top. That night, it was a guaranteed blood moon. I was going to be getting one no matter what. I was able to survive, thankfully. I had set myself a personal boundary, so I could not skip blood nights. I mean, I could, but I didn't want to. Day 21, I mainly just spent it looking around for stuff. Not much else. Day 22, and Editor Volton has just remembered what Pass Volton was looking for. A heavy wooden box. I didn't know where the one at my uh, main base was, so I went out looking for another one. Anyway, yeah, I was able to find one at probably the smallest uh, industrial shelf I think I've ever seen in this game. But whatever. Anyway, I continued trying to pick it up into day 23. Day 24, I mainly spent it looking for resources because 925, which was coming up, was going to be a bear 5 night. And I may be thinking, Volton, you, you can't get bear 5 nights anymore. That was for an April Fool's update. And you're right. However, I'm playing in a private server here, and because of that, I can make Bear Five Nights happen myself. So, I knew that I would be making one happen soon. As such, I decided that I would just make one happen to make things a bit more interesting. Day 25, alright. So, this one I spent mainly just giving my base some more upgrades, and also doing some supplies up. After that, it was time. Bear 5 was coming. And he literally never showed. Or at least I couldn't see him because I am very blind. In fact, when I was recording this, I was wearing my old glasses. You know what? I probably still wouldn't have seen him now, but still. But hey, at least it looked nice. So day 26 was a weird one. I started off by going inside my original base and just kind of sat there while I was actually reading the SP3008 wiki and got some very weird ads. Anyway, after that, I threw some ladders together to create an easier way to get between my sky base and my ground base. Day 27, I started by staring off into space for some reason. Listen, I have ADHD, okay? Then after that, I just continued working on the sky base. Day 28 was basically the same thing, just working on the base. Day 29, I started putting in railings in my base. Day 30 was the first of three apocalyptic calendars I would be encountering in this challenge. An apocalyptic calendar it is an event that happens every 30 days, guaranteed, which basically means a foggy day that precedes a blood night. I was gonna be getting a blood night tonight, obviously, but I was also getting a foggy day today guaranteed. That basically just means this is the most dangerous time to be outside, so that was obviously dangerous. As you expect, blood night. 
Day 31, I just moved stuff upstairs. Day 32, I mainly just continued moving stuff up. After that, I started grabbing some purple lights, because purple is the best color and I needed more decoration. Day 33, I just continued putting furniture inside my base. Day 34 was a weird one. I started off by just moving some more stuff up to the sky base, and decided that I needed a new, uh, I needed something new to look at. So I ran off into a faraway area and began building a new base. Don't worry, this won't last me too long. If you want to know what I'm building, I'm building a tower. I'm not sure why, I thought that would be cool or something. Yeah, I really don't know what I was thinking here. Just know that once I'm done building this tower, I in, in like a few days, I basically just go back to, uh, to the sky base and just never go back. Okay, I know this part of the video is probably going to be the most forgettable because I literally never came back here after day 41, I think it was. So let's make days 36, 37, 38 a lightning round. Across those days, all I did was build up the tower. Okay, day 40, so it was more or less the same thing, but tonight was a blood moon night. So I needed to get an upper platform finished before the night actually began. I was even able to get some of the railings up, but by then, the night had begun, and I mainly just spent it watching YouTube because there's nothing to really do during a blood night. Day 41, I continued working on a base, this time she getting more ladders for railings. As I was going out though, I noticed that there were two play places right next to each other. Apparently these are meant to be rare. Day 42, just working on the house, I need more railings. On day 43, I, can I actually decided to start adding some lights to the tower to make it more interesting. But then the fantastic arrow joined, so we hopped on a call and I uh, gave him a little tour. Eh. I got some water. Good. Oh my god, that is as one buff guy. Now admittedly, this is my second base. Did you did you lose the first one? That's actually uh, yes. my my sprint's really low. Then that would mean not uh, oh. Huh. So wait, does that mean on day fifty bear five returns? Oh, that's nice. Oh. I have game cubes, yep. yep. I swear, these used to be a lot rarer. I don't even have a single one in real life. <laughs> <laughs> Lived! Wait, what? Probably not safe. This is, this is a real safety hazard. It is. It really is. Dude, it really is. Ah! <laughs> I, uh, I lived on third. Oh. Normal blood night. Hey, look what I got. Scrub daddy. You bitch. Server admin, and there's a thing in the gate in the thing called the king menu. I'll never take me alive! <laughs> Arrow shattered. Anyway, oh, that's over, and now it's back to voiceover Volton. Anyway, it turns out, uh, this was an unexpected apocalyptic calendar. I knew there would be one on days 30, 60, and 90, but not on day 45 and also technically day 44. Apocalyptic calendars are either preceded or succeeded by foggy days. And well, since this blood night was followed by a foggy day, it's an apocalyptic calendar. I was not expecting to have one today. But whatever, I just continued doing my thing. Day 46, I started off by actually first getting out of my base, as usual. And then I found where Arrow had previously smashed right into the ground when he shattered. So I grabbed his food and also grabbed some extra snacks from around the area and moved them back up. Day 47, I grabbed some more stuff and continued moving some more stuff up into the sky base. Day 48, I just started picking up this box because uh, I wanted to see if I could get the achievement. I didn't know at the time that you needed to be on a public server to actually get the achievement. Day 49, I started off by just putting that wooden box back inside of the base. After that, I went back down to my first base and decided that there was no real reason to keep this waste of space and waste of pallets around anymore, as I really needed the resources. So I decided that I would just make that front area the base itself and just keep it around for old time's sake. Everything else would be torn apart and used as salvage. And so, I began working on the second floor. Day 15, nice. We're around half halfway there now. I spent the daylight hours looking for some more supplies to get through the night. And then once night fell, Bear 5 was back. 
Obviously, I used a whistle occasionally to try and see where he was, but as the night went on, I could hear him. And so, I looked over my balcony's edge, and down there, I saw him. Bear 5 was right down there, climbing up my stairs. Those AI suck, so he didn't get that far. But yet, I could see Bear 5 just on my stairs. This one ended up being the closest encounter I would have with him, unfortunately. Anyway, throughout the rest of Day 51, I got more resources and started working on a giant VP for Voltage Productions near my sky base. Why? I wanted to. Day 52, I finished up the VP. I really don't know why I made this, but whatever. Then after that, with the little time I had left, I tried seeing if I could trap this uh, its employee with a bed. I could not. Day 53, I just worked on the base. I needed to get the second floor finished. Day 54, by then I had the roof pretty much done, so I was just getting railings in. Day 55, just got more railings in. Day 56, I finished getting railings in, got a light upstairs, and collected some more food. So on day 57, half the time I was talking to my boy Fantascaro because I'm gonna be honest, at this point I was going a little bit crazy. Then after that, I just got more lights upstairs. Okay, I'm gonna be honest, I'm not sure what I was doing on day 58, but I do see I was gathering resources. So that's what I'm gonna say. I gathered resources. Day 59, I'm still looking around, and you know what? Now I think about it, I'm probably looking for a jungle scosh. I think that's how you pronounce it, right? It's Swedish is Germanic. It, it, that's probably what it is. I was looking. I was probably looking for one of those. While I was looking, though, I found another GameCube. Huh? I found like five of these in like what the first quarter of this challenge, and then it just stopped appearing after that. Well, I thought these were meant to be rare. Why do I have six? Because of the way that 3008 works, Day 60 ended up being yet another example of the apocalyptic calendar scheduled this time. So yeah, obviously I was going to have to be much more careful this time. Thankfully, I was able to get through the night successfully. Day 61 and 62, I was looking for another GameCube. Though on Day 63 my luck improved as I finally found another GameCube. After that, I started working on a project that I decided to call the Frat House. Day 64 started off with the equivalent of walking into a room and then forgetting why you're there. See, earlier I had actually moved Scrub Daddy and Scrub Mommy into my old house. However, I figured I'll probably tear it apart anyway for parts, so I moved them up to my house. After that, I continued working on the frat house, which was just... I named that because it was made out of purely beds. That's my logic. Listen, I was probably real sleep deprived at this point. Day 66 and Day 67, I just worked on the frat house. Day 68 was a foggy day, so I just stayed inside my house and watched YouTube. On day 69, I finished a frat house, moved the narwhal inside, did this weird notion for some reason, and by the end of the day when I came back home, I found out that Scrub Daddy and Scrub Mommy had Scrub Baby. So obviously, you know, by now, there was going to be a blood night coming up tonight. But this time, I had an idea for how I can make my base more organized. So here's what I have in mind. You know how I've always had my food just kind of stored up in a big pile literally at my front door? Well, I have a solution. Let's put it all in a bathtub on the second floor. This was a much better idea and it gave me something to do during the blood night. Day 71, I start off by looking around for something. I don't, I don't remember what. And then I decided that I was sick of hearing the goddamn background music because at this point I've been playing for hours. Hours. So yeah, I decided that it would only be fair if I started listening to Eminem. Anyway, I cleared out a space for a new build I'm making. This is a shrine to the Lemon Cult. No, I'm not okay. Day 72, I worked on a glass wall for uh, the Lemon Cult. Same with day 73. Day 74, I just continued putting up some more walls. Day 75, Bear 5 is going to return tonight. However, I didn't really care about getting supplies, so I decided it would probably just be best if I continue working on the lemon cult place which i decided to call lemon grabs because adventure time i forgot about fiona and cake to be honest anyway that night bear five did return but nothing significant happened but he will return one final time on day 100 so maybe something interesting will happen then day 76 i continued working on lemon grabs same with day 77 day 78 i started off by just building lemon grabs again but also started grabbing more resources too and that's a good thing because it turned out that to be a blood night Day 79, I went back to that first food court that I don't really go to anymore because it's too far away to collect some lemons that I dropped off somewhere maybe like the first 10 days or so for inventory space. I figured, well, they should probably get their own spot, right? 
and that's part of the reason why I made lemon grabs, so they'd have their own place in the world from now on. Those original lemons are now sitting on top of that fireplace. They are the holy lemons. Anyway, day 80, at that point I realized that because of the calendar system in-game, day 100 was going to be Christmas Day. So I started making preparations. I started first by making a big ass table out of all the pallets. However, I didn't get much progress unfortunately today because tonight was a blood night. Day 81, I spent the day grabbing lemons so I could put them in the lemon shrine. If you cannot tell by this point, I was kind of going crazy. Day 82, I was back to work on a Christmas celebration and I started getting some chairs down. Day 83 started out pretty simple. I started off by just grabbing some additional resources. After that, I started working on a snowman. If I got it, it will not look like a snowman at all. I had to compromise, okay? Day 84, I brought Jungle Chicago over to the Christmas celebration area and sat him down as the first guest. After that, I went looking for a new play area to get toys to continue building the uh, snowman. So yeah, I continued working on that. Day 85, I just continued working on the, uh, you know, maybe I shouldn't call it a snowman, but I'm gonna, call, I'm gonna still keep calling it a snowman. Day 86, I actually finished the, uh, snowman. So yeah, now there's something in the background that looks absolutely terrifying. Day 87 was a foggy day, so I decided to just stay in the base. I didn't want to get swarmed. Though that night, I did decide to just pick up the box that I had placed inside my base and put it down at the Christmas table. Day 88, I actually put the box down at the table, and then I ran back over to where I had built the tower so I could grab a tall work light to bring it back over for the Christmas table. Day 89, I grabbed more lemons from the lemon shrine and brought them over to the Christmas table because, you know, most families will eat a ham or, or, or a turkey if you're weird. But in this household, we eat lemons. So day 90 was the final scheduled return of the apocalyptic calendar. So I decided to first mainly just spend it moving the scrub family down to the dinner table. They are going to be waiting here for the next 10 days, but don't worry, they're motionless. Anyway, that night I just kind of waited out the blood moon. Day 91 was spent moving all the stuffed animals I had collected down over to the table area because I don't have any friends to celebrate with. Day 92 was also spent just getting more guests. Day 93, I spent the day actually setting up at infrastructure to capture an employee. I figured, well then, I may as well share this uh, Christmas dinner with the, my tormentors. No, that was stupid. But yeah, I got the infrastructure set up anyway. Day 94, I kind of just spent just wandering around doing random stuff, mainly just because go time was night time, because if I wanted to capture an employee, what I was going to need to do was get an employee to chase me, but they only do that at night, so I didn't really have anything to do today. So I kind of just wandered around. I tried to do this on the night of day 94, but it didn't work. And in the end, I just kind of went on to day 95. Anyway, as for day 95 itself, I, it was kind of just repeat of day 94, just kind of waiting around for go time. But again, it didn't really work. Same thing on day 96. Anyway, on day 97, I finally gave up and decided to just put a mannequin there instead. But that was a lot easier. That, that could have saved me a lot of time. Anyway, I ran back over to the tower to tear up this wall for some reason. At day 98, there was nothing more I really needed to do, so I kind of just grabbed more resources to put inside my base. Okay, so day 99 was meant to be a world tour, but I forgot that my mic is incredibly low for some reason. I have to turn it up in editing, and I didn't want the game to be too loud, so I'm just going to do a voiceover over the footage I recorded for the uh, world tour. Here's my base. Here's the giant VP I made for vanity. Here's the Christmas table. We'll be back here tomorrow. Here's the lemon shrine. Here's where I first started. And finally, here's the frat house. The tower does not matter. Day 100. Wow, I actually made it. Anyway, after I got out of the out of lemon grabs, I got up to the table and just started talking to the guests about how grateful I was that all of them were here. But uh, yeah, nah, I, I definitely kind of lost my mind at this point. But to be fair, I think anyone would. Anyway, by the end of the day, I knew I still had one thing left: the final Bear Five encounter. But I figured this time, I would face him head on. At Lemon Grabs, of course. At the beginning of the night, 
I went into lemon grabs and well, I kind of just waited for Bear 5 to arrive. And it looked like he was coming, but I guess it just took him too long. He never arrived in the end, but you know what? I did it. Hey, I'm going to try doing live commentary for certain parts of this one. Okay, 200 days. This is going to be fun. You know what? This is really not going to be fun because you guys know uh, Bear 5 from the uh, last video. If you don't know, he spawned... I made him spawn every 25 days. Just keep things interesting. Yeah, this time he's going to be spawning every 10 days. I'm not really sure what to do for a base this time because... With the 100 days video, I knew I wanted to make like a, a sky base, like a base like attached to one of the pillars. In the 50 days in Shadow Reality video, I knew I wanted to make like this disc thing. But this time around, I don't really know what I want to make. I wouldn't really call this a sky base that I'm building now. I think it's more just a base that's like high up. Did I choose a weird uh, spot for this? Yeah. Do I regret it? No. Something I'm realizing is that it might be a good idea actually if I go look for a food court or something. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Oop, wait, food court. Okay, it's kind of far, but whatever. A light gray concrete texture, the base instead of black. Obviously, finding the floating house in this uh, playthrough won't give me the achievement. I figured it out the hard way because, yeah, I'm playing on a private server because I don't want randoms fucking up my base. Because that could really suck. Dude, I swear, I had amazing luck finding GameCubes last time. Like, right at the beginning, but now I'm not finding anything. Imagine I just found something right there. In the original 100 Days video, when I was, uh... It, when I was out and about on, uh, day three, I was looking around for things. It became a blood night. While I was still out and about. I want there to be, like, a big project that, like, keeps me, like, occupied for like most of the video. I had one of those in the uh, 50 days video and that was my house. I think it took like 35 days to finish. So obviously this is going to take probably around the same amount of time so I'll still have like 65 days remaining potentially somewhere around there. You know what? I also said that I would uh, make a 300 days video if I got a thousand subscribers. Uh, I think we're pretty close to 800 now. Uh. Hi, Future Volton here. Uh, I completely forgot I said this. At the time, I still had not reached the 1,000 subscriber goal. And uh, because of that, I didn't really... 300 days were not yet confirmed, but, you know, we kind of have more than, uh, more than 800 now. This was only recorded one to two weeks ago, by the way. I like how the employees just don't give a shit that I'm just like taking all their stuff and building a fort out of it. Just like, eh, nah, it, it's just normal Tuesday. This is normal. It, it's fine. I love, with heavy quotes, my viewers so much for liking the 100 days video so much. To the point where I have to do 200 days and lose my sanity. I remember reading the comments of the 100 days video. And. I noticed a comment from someone who said they thought that foggy days were like day off and that the store was closed. Uh, to that commenter I say, you're a bit confused but you got the spirit. I hear sirens in the background, in real life. Maybe the group chat got leaked. I remember reading a comment from someone about how like, like a combination of like a foggy day, a blood night, and a bear five night. Being like this like crazy big like combination and I'm just like no I don't think I wrote that in a comment but it would just be kind of a no that's not how it would be because like bear five nights can only spawn under certain conditions and by that I mean they can't spawn normally at all I have to force them to happen and I write, they cannot happen at the same time as Blood Knights. Why there's fog inside of a fucking Ikea, I will never know. Okay, I think for the walls, we might need to find different material because I am almost out of pallets. In one of today's video, I used all of them up. I actually, kind of quickly, I kept, I actually tore apart my original base. 
because I was so low on pallets. Hardly anything remained of it, actually. Nope, stand up. Nope, come on. Damn, that's employee. Honestly, dude, I'm getting really tired of the game music already. It took me like 70 days in the Wonder Days video to become just sick of it. And, you know, I'm already tired of it, so I'm probably just going to mute the game audio for you guys and just start playing Eminem music on my end. So that way, I don't go crazy. Okay, I kind of hit my head a little bit, but yeah, we're, we're good. So I'm thinking here is, we got like a bed or something back here to land on for a quick exit. That hardly prevented fall damage at all, so I'm thinking maybe we stack these. There we go. So if you're wondering what I'm building here, I'm making what I'm going to be calling the Panic Shelter. Because Bear 5 is going to be appearing every 10 days this time, not every 25. Okay, here we go. Where is he? He's just not spawning, is he? Yeah, he's right there. Nope, oh, that was nerve-wracking. Okay, this is Future Vulcan speaking. So, uh, at this time I got bored of the in-game music and it was honestly driving me crazy. So what I decided to do was just listen to Eminem. Thing is, I forgot to mute the uh, desktop volume on OBS. So in the end, for days 100, 11 through 113, you could hear Eminem music in the background. I'm not gonna play it though because I, I just don't want to. Anyway, the only thing I'm really missing on these days is just more bass construction. So I just realized you could hear the Eminem music playing in previous mu in previous clips. My bad. A day 115 is probably gonna be a blood night. Not blood night, sorry, a foggy day? Maybe? Wait, no, I think the character- no, it's supposed to be happening, uh, no, it's gonna be happening on day 120. Never mind, I'm dumb. I can't count. Damn, this boy lanky! He's more lanky than my friend Fantastic Arrow! I have to go so far for pallets now. <sighs> Walls are finally done. Do I want to do a roof? Do I? Do I really? Yeah, I think I might just start decorating the interior now. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> well, this is mine now. Mine. Yeah. Yeah, it looks good. Maybe you should maybe try finding some form of plants, maybe? I don't know. I feel like some plants could spice the place up. Number five is coming back tonight. You know, the lights have been taken from this plot. I have to look somewhere else now. In the 100 Days video, my second Bear 5 encounter was my most climactic one. And it, this second encounter we've had so far in this video of him, and I'm not seeing much. <gasps> yep, that's him. He's there. Hi, Future Volts in here. So, I actually did have more footage in this session, but because my grandma had a guy come over to install something, he needed to shut something off in the breaker. And because of that, the power went off in my room, and I lost it, the session and the recording. It was at this point, because of that, that I was just like, fuck it, we're doing multiple sessions. Anyway, here's the second session from days 121 to 150. So it's actually, I'm actually now on a different recording session. 
I wanted to do one big recording session at first, but I consider just restarting, but I still have the footage from the first 120 days. I'm not going to waste it. So yeah, we're just going to continue recording from day 121. Honestly, I might just put the game audio on silent because I'm honestly tired of listening to scp 3008 music. Now, because I'm building my base this time inside of uh, this, on this plot, I mean, it's there, there's tables there that I can place all my food down on. The spaghetti is floating. Find shelves. They hold a ton of pallets and you can build a base in them. Wow, game. Great advice. It's like I'm doing that right now. Something I want to do in this challenge is find a floating house. To find that, I need to look for a pillar like this one that has a, uh, like a lightish grayish color around at the bottom and not the usual black. Oh wow, there's more pallets over here. And over there too. In return for me doing only 10 days at a time per recording session, I'm gonna have to try and make a, at least a fairly impressive build each time. I wanna get at least one game cube before I close this session, which is gonna be like 10 days, I think. Maybe 20 days at a time? I wanna see if I can make like a canopy of some sorts. And I think the best option to really have for like a canopy is carpet. Alright, that's it. I'm tired of this music. We're gonna listen to some fucking Eminem. Oh! GameCube. Alright, I'm taking this back. This is mine now. Yeah, hey, I was also looking at the comments of the One Days video. Oh, I'm stuck. And I got a comment from someone who said that the Rickroll I put in the 100 Days video was their first Rickroll of 2024. Sucks to suck, I guess. He's back. Tell a friend. Guess who's back. Guess who's back. Guess who's back. We're getting there. <sighs> Night 130. Bear 5 returns. And that's tonight. Now, if tonight's a bear five night, then I should probably get some supplies. Yep, easier. Bear five nights actually go so hard. Like for an April Fool's update, this goes way too hard. He's Joe over there. Oh, yep, that dude's looking right at me. Oh, yep, he's coming. Oh, no, he's leaving. <laughs> okay. Wait, what? Why am I even worried about this? I'm fine. Alright, let's go blind. Turn on the lights. Any more greens? I found more greens. Okay, we're gonna put all our food in the bathtub. Probably some athlete's foot in there, but whatever, it's fine. I did this trick in one today's video too. Pretty good idea, I think. Huh. Why is this area here kind of remind me of the first one hundred days? Here I am. Oh. Let's pick it up. I finally did it. And to think I I picked up one of these boxes like three times in the 100 days video. And twice actually in the 50 days video. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna find a drunk old scrog and put him on that podium. He deserves it for being a rare motherfucker. Oh, drunk old scrog, where are you? I want your liver. Thankfully, the popped up the counter shouldn't be returning until day 150, so we still have some time. Oh, hold there, man. You're looking quite thick. That's a big boy. Oh, who's the biggest boy? Who's the biggest boy? Okay, I'm going crazy. I swear to God, there's another GameCube over here. 
indicator isn't good. Whoa! Alrighty, let's just continue looking, I guess. I guess looking around the edge of the map was probably not a good idea. Uh... Apparently, you can find GameCubes at these lots that I didn't even know existed. I, I don't want the table. Oh. Unscheduled foggy day. <gasps> Jungle Scrog! Yeah! There's just a GameCube right here. This close to. Nine hundred forty. Oh, I know he's right there. He knows what you moved. Okay. You know I should probably find med kits because I don't I don't have any. Ooh, med kits. Great. All right. Yeah, I've got like nine med kits. Should be good for the rest of the challenge. And by rest of the challenge, I mean the rest of the session, which is like ten days. Scrub Daddy. Trash! That's where my ex belongs. Thing is, I don't have an ex. Alright, Belhaj, welcome home. I now have eight game cubes! <laughs> I don't need eight game cubes! This is the most I've ever had in one base now. If I tried getting eight game cubes in a public server, well, yeah, not that then. Then, I would just get robbed every time. You should always stay with your base in public servers. Because they're gonna rob you. I guess they do more decorating. Screw it, let's interrogate someone. Let's interrogate this dude. He looks suspicious. Okay, I need to uh, really quick go take a piss. <sighs> do I really need to start a base anymore? No, I don't. How do I always manage to use up literally all the pallets in these challenges? So this is the interrogation room. Do I need one? No. Am I going crazy? Partially. Hmm, let's experiment a bit here. Uh, yes. Hi, sir. Uh... Yes, I was hoping I could have a little bit of a moment of your time. I did the window light. Are you a face of light, and... Yeah, I just blinded that fucker. Wait, that dude doesn't have eyes. Why am I so crazy? Alright, buddy. We know you're involved in this. Tell us everything you know. Oh, what's that? You're, you're gonna resist? Okay, well, I can get a crowbar. We know I can't. Uh, Alright, then. He's not gonna talk. Sir? Is this your girlfriend? Yes? Well, if you don't tell us everything you know, then... She gets it. Well, you gotta talk? Alright, great. What do you know? Okay, they took... Okay, your friend took the child to the house on the left. From your left? Okay, great. And what did he say he was gonna do to the child? Throw it in a fire pit later. Yeah, 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 okay. Yeah, okay. Okay, you're not free to go yet, but our girlfriend's not gonna die. I sure wonder who's faster than me. Oh wait, that that was my friend I was interrogating. Oh, he was talking about me. What if I what if I just make a ladder to the roof of the building? Oh my god, that is a that is a tall guy just running around because I'm bored. I am bored. I have ten game cubes. I do not need this many. Why? Why did Ugly Burger Zero make it possible to find this many? <laughs> can I take the door out? I can take out the door! Two more here. I'm going nuts. I think I, I start stacking them up here. Why not? Alright. Final day of the session. Nice. Why do I, How have I found 12 of these things? 12. We're halfway through the challenge. Yay. Uh, hello? Oh, sir. Oh, hello. 
That was one hit from this dude. There's th four of them. <laughs> what the fuck? Why does area look so much like the one from my first hundred days? Actually, hold on. Maybe a corner base would be cool. All right, let's head to the end of the world. Oh, GameCube. Nice. Uh, is that a Drunko Scrog? This dude took me ages to find last time, man. And our GameCube. Okay, I think I know what I want to do for my base. Alrighty, so we're gonna do another sky base. We're gonna make it attached to a wall so that way it's cool. Back to pillar bases. Yeah. Alright. Time to find food source. Alright, food court. Sweet. Alright, time to head back. For now, I'll just put all my collectibles up here. Should probably find some med kits. Alright, man. I got a bathtub. Ah! Alright, we almost got the floor in place. Since I'm doing the rest of 200 days in one more session. Ah, yeah, we'll figure it out later. If I keep morphing like that, I'm gonna end up in the back rooms. Okay, we got the floor in now. We're gonna use tables for this. You know, I just got the first uh, wall put up. That's all, That's awesome. Okay, I found our food court. This is already so boring. Okay, turns out there's food much closer to the uh, to the base right here. Okay, we got walls in place. Nice. Need to get roof now. I don't think my base is even ready for the Bear Five Night, actually. What I'm going to do is actually head over to this other pallet area here. So, what I'm going to do is take these pallets. Get building up a ramp. I've said this so many times, but Bear Five Nights are just awesome. I love them. He was just over by my base. Where is he now? Oh, he's literally right there. He is right underneath me. <sighs> yep. This is fine. I morphed through the table. Okay, we're gonna replace the ramp here with ladders. We're almost done with the roof. We've got this last bit over here to do. Okay, I uh, haven't really been keeping track of the foggy days, about to be honest, but yeah, we've got another foggy day here. Imagine if tonight's a blood night. Alright, well, well, ladies, welcome to my home. We have a laptop full of food, a drunkle scrog, and a GameCube. Alright, first up, GameCube. What is my luck? I have reached a corner! I like how the employees just don't give a fuck about me just taking a massive ass TV. <laughs> Would you look at that? It's the funny day, let's go! What's this dude doing? <laughs> well then. I think this base needs more of an interior. Yeah. Okay, my base might, might be nice and everything, but I'm starting to realize that it doesn't look like there's anything cool near it. I'm not seeing Bear 5 yet. I think in Bear 5, when Bear 5's around, Sky Bases are the way to go because he's not showing up. Oh, I see him. Yeah, he's, li he's literally right there. Probably the best view I've ever had of him. Oh yeah, he is. I just realized that the big TV plots that I was looking for uh, earlier. Yeah, they are literally, there's literally one like right here. Like I did not need to go out that far for, for like those big, for a big TV. What, you're still salty about the time I threw you off a cliff? He just stepped through it! Literally. Alright, well, that's his now. <laughs> Screw it, I'm taking this pool table. I'm gonna take this pink van. I'm gonna put him here. 
So now I've, we're, we have a penguin playing pool. With who, you ask? Well, to answer that question, I need to do some traveling. Okay, let's see. Is the clapar here? It is. The most intense game of pool of all time. Oh shit! Okay. With the final seven technically days of this session, I'm just gonna look around at all the pillars. Back. Back. TVs are gonna be going up here because, uh, yeah. Why are you using food? <gasps> Oh shit. Dude, I'm gonna get screwed over by the lag. Alright, 700. We're very close now. Oh yeah, I can literally see it. Holy shit. I made it, bitch. What I like about this floating house is that you can totally recreate this yourself on the ground. Like, you absolutely can. Oh. It's a blood night. And I'm up here on the floating house. Okay. Here we go. Well, that was anticlimactic. Alright, here's the fast way to get down. I felt there to the floor for a second. Oh, hey. There we go. Oh. Made it in. I'm stabbing! This dude didn't even notice me. I wonder how Pair 5 is gonna react when I'm stuck in here, Dad. Oh. I'm dead. <laughs> That's on me. What a lovely view from my window. Oh shit, he sees me. I did not mean to delete that. I accidentally used admin powers. Alrighty. Okay, interesting. I was spawned at literally the edge of the map. Oh. Oh, a food court too. Okay, this is a campsite. Ooh, I see a GameCube bear. I don't want it. Okay, day 195 should be a foggy day, according to my calculations. All days 191 to day 200, I think, are all going to be foggy days. I'm going to make them foggy days, because I have that power here. This is important. I call this Camp Dwayne. Now, in the case of an inevitable blood night and bear five nights, we have two more does coming up. So um, I picked out this area here. Okay, I think it's yes. Yeah, it's like so small to where just a ladder would be good. Okay, this is gonna become the food tent. I think it's still a fit, but it's easier if I crawled. No, if it's not obvious what I'm doing, I'm going to try and trap an employee. And foggy days are actually the best time to do it. We're going to find some coffee tables. You, sir! Ow. Whatever, I can try again when the foggy days become permanent. Yeah, I need to get more supplies, actually. Because I don't have Spotify Premium, I just hear Shopify can help you with yada yada yada. Yeah, I'm so close. Okay, I'm gonna put the box here. Okay, here we go. This is what I was looking for. This kind of light. I created a monster. You want to see a mushroom? What do you want to see? A chocolate? Want to see? That's what I give you. Okay, what if I made a stack of microwaves? Alrighty, Bear 5 comes back tonight. 
you now have a little window in the uh I'm just I'm just gonna call this the bunker. Oh there he is. Oh he's like right there. Ooh, health kits, I need these. I'm very glad the lemon coal is dead. Hmm. Guess I should start thinking about what I wanna do on day two hundred. But we'll worry about it later. Dorian Keppers, we have everything under control. Just wait here in fear while I go and collect microwaves. Yeah, I'm really all I'm really doing now is just collecting microwaves. I'm not going outside in a blood night. This instead of working on a microwave tower, which is very important, I'm looking for Where's that area I found Pingvin? Oh, here it is. Energy always goes down so much faster than hunger. I know energy and hunger used to be separate, but I think they should be combined again. All right, there we go, got some lights in place. It took all day, so that's good nice. I'm gonna grab more weeds. We're gonna get a bunch of uh, weeds in here. Ooh, there's also plants here. I'll take it. Okay, looks like I forgot to set the, the day as a foggy day, but whatever, that's fine. <laughs> Oh look, there's mannequins. I am bringing back this mannequin. No, he will not be one of the campers. Instead, this dude's gonna be another counselor. That way he can watch over the increasingly troublesome scrub daddies. All right, yeah, nice. We got a nice little campsite going. And just remember guys, this is Camp Dwayne. Hmm. Let's go and taunt this dude. And... Oh shit. Great. No blood night. I swear, these would become insanely common. I went from getting like 12 game cubes to having blood nights a lot more often. We've officially reached the end. We still have a uh, day 200 to celebrate, but uh, until then, I'm gonna take some screenshots of the general area. It's here. Right. I actually made it. So I've got all the campers, including the other counselor here. And we're gonna tell the scary stories for today. After all, we are at Camp Duane. And like every cliche-ass camp, we need to uh, t tell some spooky stories. Okay, here's one. There once was a man from a nation known as... Oh my god, it's horrible. I can't imagine anyone using me for that purpose. Well then, campers. It's been fun. However, it's time for me to retire. Mannequin, I trust you. With the rest of the campers. It is time for me, however, to say goodbye to Camp Duane. Well, not really, because I have uh, one final date. Well, not really a date, but, you know. I still don't see him. It's always the last thing kind of is most disappointing. Ah, <sighs> day 201. All right, two pally areas. Oh my god, we're at the edge of the map. Uh, I could do that. If, uh, you know, I'll keep that in mind, great reaction play. If we have time, I might build a store. Uh, Moondrop, I've done a few sky bases, technically. In the first 100 days video, I made a base on a pillar. That's technically a sky base. I did something similar to a sky base in 200 days as well. Uh, I think it was like, maybe like the second toss base I made in that video? I just realized I uh, completely disregarded the snap to grid. Let's fix that. Uh, indeed, Fantastic Arrow, I am. I'm going a bit nuts. Actually, no, I already went nuts. Like, yeah, I'm already, I already went crazy in, uh, I think it was literally just in the first 100 days. Maxa King, I hope you're referring to your height and not your dick. Alright, we should probably try to find food. 
I recorded all my uh, 180 videos in this game in private servers. Because public servers ruins the fun nowadays. Like, my first exposure to this game was public servers. But honestly, I get so much more enjoyment in, like, private servers, so I don't play on public anymore. Like, my boy Fantascaro and I, we tried, like, uh, playing in a public server, but it just did not work out. And some, we, tr we found an abandoned base, or at least we thought it was abandoned, and we are like, okay, this is our base now. But then the owner came back and just started tearing it apart. And we tried using, and when we tried using the dude's parts to uh, build a base, he just kept tearing it down. And at that point, we were just like, no, no screw this, we're going on a private server. Uh... Uh, SP Cypher 1, I'm gonna say no because I do not speak Chinese. I only speak, uh, I only speak English and some German. I'm still learning German, but like, I say some things in it. Uh, let's see, translate it, let's see. Spanish is easy. In S. S. P. E. Ein und dat. Taj über the. Oh, that was actually so bad. Uh, SP Cy41, I can't help you there. Uh, sorry. Uh, let's see. How long is stream gonna be? Yeah, sorry I didn't see your message earlier, Moon Drop. Uh, the stream's just gonna go on until we hit day 220. That's how long it's gonna be. Uh, Quality Gaming. There's a uh, like the YouTuber Croc. He does some uh, uh, SP3000 day content. He did one of his first, I believe. I believe it was the first. And his, like, I think it might be, like, it might be a top result, it might be, not be. An ice cream mountain, that would be fun. But I'm not, I'm not gonna do that. That would take way too long. Because then, first of all, I would have to look for all ice cream locations, like, ice cream spawn locations, throughout the entire map that I can. And then, I, once those are all used up, I would have to wait until other ice cream is respawned and i would just be use, using up so much energy that it would just not be worth it we're, we're both retarded yes exactly right right arrow uh i would like to welcome you to uh 3008 it's hell i'm yeah i've been here before i <laughs> I'm out of here. <laughs> I'm out of here. Oh! What? Huh? Huh? <laughs> uh -huh. Hey, speak to me, buddy. <laughs> what the hell is that? Oh, hey, I found you, I think. Uh <laughs> All right, we're back at the base. We're done fucking around. Let's get building. Alright, are you guys ready for the reveal? When I first uploaded uh, 100 days in SCP-3008, I had 57 subscribers. 57. Yeah, as time went on, like, after I'd up already uploaded the video, I was like, yo, I'm gaining subs quicker than ever before. Reaching a thousand days would be cool, but again, it's probably gonna take a while. Yeah, Cookie Gamer Life, they are delicious. Oh, oh shit! I not mean to start doing that. Oh! No, it's I. I don't know actually, because normally there's a guaranteed blood night every ten days, so like day ten, day twenty, you know, all that. However, every time I've, I'm gonna have it so every uh ten day. 10 days Ugh, there's a bear five night so for any blood nights to happen they need to they have a one in 20 chance of spawning uh spaghetti um no i would not the answer is because dragon platinum al al already does that stuff where is he uh, no, Site 41, I do not know what 106 is. Because I, believe it or not, I, despite my most popular video being about SCP, I don't actually know that many SCPs. 
Like, I know about, uh, 049, 3000 date, uh, 096, 173. Like, I know of those guys, but other than that, I don't know about many SCPs. Okay, chat, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. Like, whenever it turned, whenever it's like a default night, I would just, like, skip it. Just to save myself some time. However, even then, I did not allow myself to skip Blood or Bear Five Nights. Those I forced myself to endure. I've uh, made a little bit of a decision here. We are going to be uh, shortening this to just the first 15 days. Uh, Site 41, no, anime sucks. Nor Gamer, I do these videos in sessions. One of today's video, that was one giant session. 200 days was multiple recordings. Because I'm getting pretty bored, so. Here, I'll, I'll get one more. Wait a minute. I did not put that there. go the way I wanted it to so because I got suggested this so often we're gonna do it we're gonna be making a hotel so that way you guys stop asking me to make one okay I think we're gonna make this like a staircase or something all right I need to find a picture of Dwayne the Rock Johnson here oh there it is also crowbar and here's the thing about the crowbar that they don't tell you Huh? Ugh, foggy day. Of course. All right, Bearfly is back tonight. I got a comment earlier today that said me like, oh yeah, it's gotta be something good because like it's hard to get food and uh, it's hard to see and uh, both of those are not true. So either you have bad eyesight or you have never played 3008. Just a couple cracks, but we'll, we'll live, we'll live. He's a bit fat. Where is he? Oh, he's there. Oh, he's right, he's right there, he's coming. He's right overhead. What the hell? There was two! Dude, this is the scariest encounter I've ever had. They were only 20 days in. If a bear of five encounters this frightening, then how the hell am I gonna survive the king? Why the idea of him being like right on top of me, like scarier? than the idea of him being like outside my door that was more stressful than it should have been all right next up is a uh, uh, second floor walls oh man tonight's gonna be stressful well honestly i'm kind of excited to make a video about sp096 because you know the other day i posted a short about it and you guys clearly liked it so Guess I'll have to do 100 days in that uh, game at some point. I love building walls. Do you love building walls? I sure love building walls. Especially when I'm running out of resources. Like, this is actually a really small pallet area. I really should have checked how long this was before I started building. Something I've come to notice is that a lot of my fans, although well-intentioned, do not have very good ideas for 3008 videos. Like, they just... Like, I love you guys and all, but like, goddamn, you, you guys do not have very good ideas. Like, the only reason I'm taking, like, like a lot of people just say I make a hotel, and I didn't want to, but I'm only doing because I don't have any more ideas. It's like, you guys either suggest the same thing over and over, or it's just a really bad idea in general. Like, you guys know those, like, videos that are just like, oh yeah, 100, like, micro players simulate this or whatever. Uh, yeah, I don't like those videos. It's because they're all the same thing. Like, it's literally just the same thing over and over again with just a different coat of paint. That's literally it. It's just that I feel like a lot of you guys are suggesting things without putting any actual, like, thought into them is the thing. And that's fine, but, like, guys, I kind of want you guys to put at least some thought into your suggestions, okay? I keep, I'm still getting comments from people asking when 300 Days is coming out. And I guess they just don't look through the comments or something. 
I'm probably going to make a community post at some point, but 300 Days will be coming out in uh, February. It's still January when I'm recording this, uh, 28th to be exact. <gasps> oh no! <clears throat> oh! I freed you! Using this to get there fast. Oh, oh. Okay, yeah, we're, on, we're on track, we're on track. Alright, tomorrow is gonna be a bear five day. Well, we guess more like bear five night. But still. Look at this little dude! This is tiny! Wait, wait, uh, can I push him in? Can I push him in? Uh, come on. Uh, no, 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 oh, oh, wait, uh, oh, wait, no, 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 okay. Oh, man. Hey. Yep. <sighs> just watch TV in solitude. Yeah, he's just not showing up this time. There were three of them last time, now he's not showing up. You know, I think a night 220 is a good example of, as to why I did not want to make a hotel. And Dark 200 Days, I did, was able to see him on occasion, but now, in, last time I just, he was just everywhere, but I just don't see him now. All right, time to make a third floor. We gotta work fast. And wrong with me, the sick guy, to ask if someone else is okay. <laughs> this dude's just been chilling here. <laughs> Barnacle! You must run. We have sixes left. Nearly five. Is this guy just having a mental crisis? Ooh, ooh, water. I don't know if we'll finish the hotel in time. Oh well. Oh, but why is it German? Okay, roof is almost done. We might make it. I'll leave her to an extra day to finish this hotel if I have to. <gasps> no, it's a blood night. Okay, roof's in place. We don't have much time left, but we can potentially get a, uh, we can get a room partially sorted. Yeah, no, no I don't see him anywhere. Oh, there he is. Oh, where is he? Yeah, he's like right there. So guys, I don't want, guys, when you enter a server, don't do anything yet. I want to get us all in the, uh, I do not accept friend requests, sorry. So, do you guys wonder what we're going to be doing in this stream today? I see a lot of you are on your phones. I'm going to spawn him in just so these guys know what we're dealing with. I'm noticing that a lot of you seem to be playing on your phones. I think Arrow's having an, uh, an existential crisis currently. Because he's just chilling. I need to learn how to play this game again. <laughs> been forever. I'm probably going to have the same experience when uh, 400 days comes around. Because by then I'll have not played for months. I'm also just remembering now that... Since I'm not going to be streaming any more of uh, 300 days after this, I'm going to have to face the king alone on uh, day 300. 10. 2. Bit early. <gasps> no! I'm hiding under here! Alright, uh, we're running out of uh, pallets, so I'm going to start using all these beds to build up the wall. Cookies give, like, a lot of energy. The cookies give like both equal energy and uh, hunger, which is really good. Um, okay. I'm gonna put him under here now, where he belongs. Hey. Uh, Berliner? No, that that's not racism. That that's a joke. Fucking snowflake. We say a lot worse. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna leave it at that. We say a lot worse. Vulcan, right. get your ass back at the base now. Fine. But I get to bring ice cream back. Wait, nah, y'all are tripping. I don't see him anywhere. Oh, never mind. He, he coming. At? He's coming. I see he just looks like they're questioning everything. Oh, it's not the penguin. Ooh, pallets. This this will do nicely for my new base. Didn't you make a small pallet base when I first introduced you to the king and it got immediately destroyed? And nerds oh, are smart people. stalking me. I've done a lot worse than stalk people, all right? I'm going to just say that. Sounds like arrow. What, what what else am I supposed to use? Condoms. <laughs> the Chad. Oh no. 
Nah, he, he. Oh God, uh, dude. Tell them I disconnected, but I'm gonna be back on shortly. Oh my God, the back end, dude, the back end of our base is a mess. We're not gonna survive. Yeah, there's no way my homies and I are gonna help. Are gonna make it, I'm not gonna lie. All right, guys, because tonight is when the king will attack, I need to uh, spawn something. Oh wait, I see an employee. It looks like my ex. That's funny, because you don't have one. Okay, looks like we have fortified a bit. That's good. Uh, okay. Oh, man, you spawned him near me. How dare you? All right. Uh, love. We know right as arrow. Oh, hey, is he at your guys' base? Ah! 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 He's here! He's here! It's already gone! It's show over! I'm safe, guys. Wait a minute. Did the roof survive? Guys. Oh, my God. This is you actually... Like being... I'm gonna uh, hang no. arrow just so you know. I, I feel like being an asshole today. Did not work. You bitch! <laughs> you a bitch! You a bitch! Oh you my god! You a real bitch! You know that. <laughs> oh, I think he's stuck. Ah! I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Get me the hell out of here! I am actually trapped. Ah! I can't wait to see what kind of havoc's been wrecked on the base because I got teleported a thousand meters away. I love this person's- I love your avatar. You have an awesome avatar. I love your avatar. Okay, so with this, uh, okay, with this session, I'm gonna go for a challenge. I cannot build- I have to build everything where I spawned. This area here, this is gonna be where my base is. I'm not gonna- I can't let myself pick anywhere else. Need these tables so I have a way to get up to the roof. You know what, maybe I'll leave them up too. That way I can get a heart attack from Bear 5 once he comes by. You no, know I'm gonna plan out my base for... Uh... For an next king encounter. Ah, foggy day, of course. Alright, let's get lights. Uh, where do I put the light? I want this front wall finished as soon as possible. Because bear fires are turning on day uh, 960. We're a coffee table. I found coffee table. Honestly, this is probably the most developed base I've had before a first bear five night in any session. I don't think I've ever used a green bed before as my main bed. Even though I can't sleep in this game. So this time, I'll go for green bed. So, you see this big light? I'm thinking since my viewers have struggled to see Bear 5 in past videos, I set up a few of these around, and it becomes night, I can see Bear 5 easier. Hell is this? I really did not get a very good spawn, did I? This is ominous as fuck. Is the edge of the map the best place to defend from Bear 5? I want to see if... Oh, there's an employee. I think that's the first one, actually. We're making this Day 269 monument. But we're just gonna make a giant 69. Because... Funny. Uh, I mean, it could be worse. No Jungle's Cog. Great. I think I found it. I did a lot of this last time. And the fun part is that I'm gonna have to do this again. <gasps> oh, fuck. Yep, this looks like the pillar. That's funky. <gasps> ah! Dude, another one of these? Dude, apparently there's only like a 2% chance of these spawning. I don't know how else you get the night lights, so I'm assuming that's just plus the only way. I'm pressing F, but I ain't doing shit. Tomorrow's a funny number day, let's go. Do not ask why I'm flipping you. Just don't ask questions. Let's just put him here for now. I bet he won't do anything sus tomorrow. I wanna find a jungle skog. Oh, I think I see him. Let's go. I'm back. What is this? What is this? What is this, dude? <laughs> oh, man. 
All right, I've got some work to do with this bathtub today. <sighs> Let's see. Yep, day six, uh, 269 is a funny day. I built the 69 monument. What the fuck? No. No. Jungle Skog. Or Jungle Skog. He got cucked. No. All right, well, uh, Jungle Skog got cucked. At least he can relate to Sneeko now. Banana. 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 Ananas. Pineapple. I need this crowbar for something. No, don't worry, don't worry. I, I'm, I'm gonna be civilized with it. No, no horny. <sighs> Finally, I don't have to deal with him anymore. I swear, Bear Five is currently being less active than me. Oh no, he coming. So here's the uh, plans I got for day 300. We're gonna find a, bill a pillar. Hopefully, there's some pallets nearby. And then we're going to. Build up what you see here. This time it's gonna go on all four sides of the pillar. The day. Yeah, on, on the day, the king will be back. He always comes back. But well, that's just because I make him come back. But, what, why did I make it sound like he was William fucking Aft? But make this base really epic, in my opinion. Is that if this was on the 4121 version where the pillars could collapse? That make this super climactic. The third, third layer of these pallets is gonna be tilted. <laughs> yeah, I can fit. Well, this is inconvenient. Now, I at least want the first floor of this to be finished, as Bear Five is still gonna be coming by every now and then. I never thought there would be a world where I would be doing the roof first of all things. I can't fit. I'm too fat. Balls. I need some. I want to fix this roof. I want to put it more inward. Need more pallets. Yeah, we're getting there. <laughs> Balls. So the first thing I'm currently doing is just getting the first layer of the walls up. Then we're going to have to do the second layer and then the third layer of the walls. This is probably going to take the longest part. And we got two layers of walls built. <laughs> Then it's gonna be the third floor, and then we're gonna pull that out a bit. Honestly, I thought I would have less progress by uh, day 280, but we're actually getting pretty far. We're already putting in the uh, flooring for the third floor. I think my mom's home. I hear the dog barking. I think since I'm close to the edge of the map, Bear 5 might not appear this time. Yeah, I'm literally out in the open. He's not coming. I can't wait to put this series on a hiatus. Hey, first employee. He's a skinny one. Are you okay, sir? He's just standing there. Is he glitched because his hand's in there? Wait, here, I'll push him out. Uh, come on, I can do it. And then no, no, I'm, I'm giving up. You good? Oh, there's another one. Yeah, that guy back there is fine. So what's wrong with this one up here? <sighs> yep. Ball building, very fun. This section of the video is probably gonna be a bit shorter than earlier parts because, yeah. I'm starting to think I might not be able to get the three extra layers of defensive, but, I mean, <clears throat> two extra layers of walls to defend the base with by day 300. I might actually run out of time. Sir, why are you humping my wall? <laughs> WHY ARE YOU HUMPING MY WALL?! I wanted to do a triple layer defense, and also extra barriers. But honestly, I don't think I'm gonna have enough time to do three layers. Like, just the first layer and all the floors has taken me 17 days in this session. I remember when I was recording here for 100 days. I remember thinking that... Like, day 88 would just felt like it would be so far away. Can I get away with only doing the extra defenses on three of the sides instead of all four? Because that side is directly facing the wall. If the king is going to come from anywhere, it's going to be from anywhere else. I'm glad I decided to start this session on day 270 instead of day 275 like I originally planned because... I am running out of time. 
I'm going to have to change the triple layered defense to a double layered one and scrap the extra barriers because I don't think I'm going to have enough time. There's only 11 days left. I could have sworn a few days ago I was completely demotivated to play. But now I'm suddenly super motivated. Okay, we need to get some food. Usually I don't eat the food because pizza and chips are the worst food items in this game. They hardly do anything. You have to eat a lot of them for it to work. There are much better food items, people. Honestly, two liter Dr. Bob's are underrated. I don't care if they hurt. They're tasty. Yeah, I don't see them. As per usual. <laughs> oh shit, he's coming. Oh yeah, he's over there. Oh yeah, I see him. Yep, there he is. Hmm. Yes. France. <laughs> oh, I'm losing my mind. Need more light. Wear more light. I have an idea. In case if I need to bail at any time, I'm likely going to have to do it off of this side. The bed ensures I land safely and can flee successfully. Yeah, I'm out of ideas. I can do more restocking. <laughs> the toilets are for throwing at the king to get him to piss off. Oh yeah, and of course, the obligatory uh, bathtub of food. <laughs> there are so many, like, living rooms around here, yet not one of them has a GameCube. Hey, why is the entrance closed off? Come on, man, I worked hard to fuck over all the homeless with this door. You know what? I'm gonna be happy when this series goes on the hiatus. Yeah, I really will be. Ugh. Surprise foggy day. Awesome. Here, I have all the better that I've got so far. And yeah, it's just a really good farm. It's really gonna help me grow. I keep running off of hunger, bro. I'm not making it to my base. Did I just see Napoleon try to kill me? Uh... uh... Second to last day. I'm back. You know what, guys? I've probably said this a few times on recording now, but honestly, I'm really happy I decided to put this series on hiatus now that 300 Days is going to be out once you guys are viewing this. I'm very grateful for the success this series has brought me, but you know what? I'm very happy that this is going to be going on hiatus for a little while because this is just kind of just not fun to record for me. I know you guys like it, but it is just mentally painful to record vi these videos. You'll probably get our type of 3000 day in Roblox content, for, but for the next few months, this series is going to be on hiatus. Maybe in like late summer, it'll come back. I don't know. Hey, with the main series going on hiatus, this gives me an opportunity to do other spin-offs of this series. I could continue the Shadow Reality series, because that is in need of a part two, so that'll be fun to do. And, yeah. Day 100. Wow. I actually made it. It's here. All right. I actually made it. Day three, I think the thumbnail really portrays how I feel right now. You know, with 100 days, 100 days, by the end, like on the day 100 and day 200, like parts of those thumbnails, I'm just like, yeah, I'm confident. I did it. With 30 days, instead of me being like really happy and accomplished on the right, I'm just, I just look like I've seen some things and that's how I feel right now. I didn't get all the plans I had in mind for this base done, but oh well. Yeah, I... This is actually scary because this is the first time I've had to face him alone. Why are you spinning, sir? 
Oh no. Oh, he's here. I'm falling back to the second floor. Oh, he's in. The employees got in! This is actually to save his spot in, in the base now. Okay. The plan was to fall back to the bottom floor of the base if things got out of hand. And they clearly have, and I'm surviving. Oh no. Yeah, the second and third floor has been destroyed. Yeah! Is that the base? Oh, it's in complete ruin. Look at this side. Yeah, this part area is in complete ruin. This side actually kind of survived. I'm actually impressed. This was where I hunkered down for a little bit. Huh. Maybe I am ready to take on the infinite IKEA. Yeah, I can go for another 100 days. Maybe even more. Maybe to a thousand. Who knows what... Wait. What was that noise? What is that? Uh, no. Ah! 